sing out of your own song sing out of your own heart that Jesus that Jesus that he is the one he's 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 the one that's eternally forever God he's the one that's eternally forever God all of heaven and earth shall bow down before him. All of heaven and earth shall bow down before him. See it happening now. Angels, creatures, demons, oh, principalities, people, nations.
just sense the Lord in this place. He's calling us in deeper. And, and I realize this, that these Tuesday meetings have a purpose from heaven. And this is our third one. I, this is our third one. And each time I'm realizing more and more what the Lord's doing. And, and He wants you to come into this place and realize that in this place, as we come together corporately, we begin to proclaim Jesus is Lord. And He begins to take over the atmosphere in which you've been under. And as you come in, you're, you're basically your mind is able to operate on a higher plane because you're able to see in the realm because the interference is removed so this is why we got gather together for the sake for, for not not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together because basically we're able to be taken to another place another realm a new heights and so what we're supposed to do is take and come into this place and stretch out who we are and as we begin to stretch out who we are, then what we do is we begin to look to heaven and say, this is who I'm supposed to be. So when you come into this place, just let the atmosphere of heaven begin to enlarge you. Begin to enlarge you and you begin to call things from heaven. You begin to call things in the heavenly places. This is what I belong. This is what belongs to me. This is who I am in you. Peace is my inheritance. Come on. This is a place where there's no demons allowed. There's no bitterness allowed. There's no sickness allowed. We come in and say, this is the Lord's house. This is your house, God. And where the Lord is, there's freedom from all kinds of sickness and disease. There's freedom from all kinds of demonic oppression of any sort. There's freedom from all things, Lord, that try to carry us away, the cares of this world. Come up, come up, come up. Come on, I'm just challenging you to come up. Come up higher. Come up higher, beloved. We're going to be doing some decrees tonight. If you're part of the India team, Begin to ask the Lord, what would he have you to decree over, over this place? If you're part of the uh, ministry staff, begin to ask the Lord what, what he'd have you decree over this place. And if you're uh, in the congregation and you hear something from the Lord, ask the Lord, what would you have me to decree over this place? And we're going to begin to decree here. And this is why you start here. You start where you live because you have the most authority where you live. This is what we've been given. This is our house. Everybody say, this is my house. This is my house. And since this is my house, since this is your house, we have the most authority in this place. And when we start exercising our authority in this place, when we go out to our job places, when we go out into Andhra Pradesh, in all, all the regions in Hydra, Hyderabad and the surrounding regions and towns, we want to be able to carry that same authority because we exercised it here. Y'all ready to exercise? Y'all ready to do some exercising?
cannot see, cannot feel. There is one true and living God. There is one true and living God. Every other God is in battle. You cannot see, cannot feel. There is one true and living God. There is one true and living God. that there were a lot of people that were amazing worshipers when it came to pigskin. I got to watch the Super Bowl and I was like, these guys are amazing pigskin worshipers. Listen to the way they raise their voice in triumph for their pigskin. Now, that might sound funny, but the reality is in India they look crazy. They look demonic. They look like, whoa, who would worship that? The question is, who would worship a football? But there were people raising their voices. They were shouting out. They were saying, oh, or they were saying, hey, look, we're winning. But in this place, we're winning a much more important battle. And that battle is for your soul, the soul of your children and your children's children. And we need to start taking this battle much, 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 much more serious. Every idol that we allow and introduce into our life, like the idol of offense, the idol of having our own rights, all the stuff that pride produces and all the stuff that this world produces in us, it can't have its way anymore. We're going to a place that that stuff can't hold us anymore. We have to rise up and say there's one true living God. Now, because you're such a passionate people for Jesus, 
Joseph asked if everybody in the room could stand to your feet. And because he's leading right now, let's all stand to our feet as we get ready to step into this decree about the one true living God. And we begin to stand up and we let everything fall to the wayside in this place. Come on. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. We're not going to let anything come in our way. Yes, Lord. Come on, is that you? Come on, let's it
that we are a people that when we sing a song about the living God who endures forever, we will not be found liars, but we will be found true, singing to the one true God saying, God, I want you to reign over everything, including the little stuff, the niggly stuff, the stuff that comes and devours the vine, like our opinions and our attitudes and what we consider to be injustices. We say, God, we say that righteousness and justice is the foundation of your throne, God. from every idol that we know and the ones that we don't know so that the only thing God that is visible is the invisible hand of the only true God so that means if my relationship with someone is not of God we're saying I invite you to tear that thing down to the ground because you are bigger than my flesh it's anger. Anger does not produce the righteousness of God. So you say, God, I want you to come and strip that idol of anger until I am a person that when it's spoken of me, they say, that is a gentle woman. That is a gentle man that is filled with the love of God. Because how else will the world know who we belong to? if we are not filled with the love of God, which is shed abroad in our hearts through the Holy Spirit. So when we sing this song, let not this Western church that is hungry for revival be a liar, but let us be true because God, you are holy and you will hold us to it. So before you sing another syllable, you best be making up your mind. Is he Lord of all? Or is he Lord of none? Because there is no middle ground. If you want to see revival, it begins inside of you. So we invite you, God, who is Lord of all anyway, to be Lord of all anyway. In Jesus' name.
So I also heard the Lord say that this house is going to be a house of healing, that people are going to come in off the street and come in here while we're praying during the week and get healed. Larry came in when me and Jeff were in here praying the other day and his face was swollen up and it went down like 80 percent and i also heard the lord say that these tuesday nights that that he wants to move like healing is gonna be here on these tuesday nights and if you want your healing then come and get it whatever you want just come and get it it's accessible
What are you hearing the Lord for? The healer's in the house. Did you check it out? Did you check it out? What's new in your body? Anybody? Anybody got something already? You feel like the Lord's touching you right now? Any pain? Check it out. If you have anything that you can't test right now, just begin to receive. Because the healer's in the house. If you have uh, any words of knowledge right now, is the time to release them. Anybody from the India team? Anybody that's going to India, I want you to stretch your faith a little bit and get ready. Anybody that's on the leadership team, this is a good time to step out in faith. Anybody in the congregation ready to move to the next level? Just begin to ask the Lord, what, what, can be, what do you want to heal tonight, Lord? I just, I just was sensing, uh, is there... If there's some people in here with uh, pain in this this part of their back, the, the lower part, not like right in here. Yeah, yeah. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for releasing healing right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for removing all pain. And we command pain to go in Jesus' name right now. And we thank you, Lord, that you are the healer. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. You are the Lord, my God, which heals. You are the Lord, my God, which heals. So just begin to receive that right now. As you guys are moving into place, For if you have a word of knowledge of any sort, I want you to get up here. And begin to just exercise your faith by just like looking and saying, God, I thank you for my healing. And just begin stretching it out and saying, whoa, hey. That feels pretty good. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Okay, I've been working really hard on my house. My arms have been killing me so bad. And I came here and I said I was going to go troll a flag because I wanted to troll it. But I'm moving my arms now and the pain is gone in my arms. So anybody else have pain in their arms? I declare it's Hallelujah. gone in Jesus' name right now. Yes. Amen. Anybody in here with pain in your arms? Yeah. Maybe your shoulders? Or even tendonitis. You can, yeah, that's the cool thing about God is yeah. he's just looking for somebody to step out of the boat. Yeah. Say, that's good enough. I got it somewhere in my arm. It could be in my little pinky. I'm going for it. That's a part of my arm. So you just, you just stretch out in faith and say, Lord, I just received that right now. Father, I thank you. And just like Darlene said, you can be healed right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Come on, just begin to check out those areas. Anybody else? Anybody on the platform? Yeah. Yeah. I, this is, it just keeps coming up. Those that are actually struggling with um, legitimate um, addiction to things. Now, I'm not talking about like just being tempted and you yield every now and again, but I really feel like it's a serious addiction. Like, you know, you feel like you have no control, which is a lie of the enemy. It's a lie of Satan, but I, I, um, I feel it like... Um, I even feel like this burning going up my legs. Um, if that's you, just come on up to the front. We just want to pray for you and declare that you are delivered tonight in Jesus' name. All it takes is one encounter with God. One encounter, and you will yes, never Lord. be the same. Pastor Tracy is a perfect example of that. It was one encounter, and she was forever free. Hallelujah. Yeah. And there's so many of the rest of us Hallelujah. that can testify. All it takes is one encounter in Jesus' name. Also, as well, if you have this pain in the um, bottom uh, right part of your calf, like toward the top of the calf. I, I feel like somebody's being healed of that. We just release that by faith in Jesus' name. Lord, Be yes, healed. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Woo. you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Freedom. Thank you, Jesus. As, as we're just sharing these, just come up and uh, share any, any area where you feel like the Lord's healed you. Uh, yes. like 50% or better, just come up here and say, yes. I feel a difference already. And we just come in agreement with that. Yes. The best way to get a healing and keep a healing is to start testifying that it's being done. Not to, not, not to say something that's not being done, but when the Lord's manifesting and you can sense already a, a difference. Yeah. Uh, I, it's been a stressful day for me. So I've been hearing stress a lot. Uh, I, I mean, I'm glad to go, and you know, I'm here, and I, I, you know, I just keep pushing forward. But I, I believe anybody that is, you know, has stress, that God wants to relieve it, He, he can do it. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Lord, we just thank you. You are our peace. The Lord is our peace. That's Jehovah Shalom or Shalomi. If you want to make it the Lord my peace. And so, Lord, we thank you for the Lord is our peace. The Lord my peace. Shaloma would be the Lord our peace. We just thank you, God, your peace over, over this whole congregation, Lord. This atmosphere of peace, Lord. And we want to yield it to this peace, Lord, that it would be with us all the days of our life. Stress would no longer have dominion over us. Stress would no longer have dominion over the people of God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, just, just put your hands up and say, Lord, I surrender all my stress. And I thank you, Lord, for fresh new peace. You know, yesterday's peace just didn't do it for today's attacks. I needed a fresh new peace. And I was taken from peace to peace, higher peace, more pressing into God and higher peace and more seeking His face and more peace. And the Lord's constantly wooing us in because He knows what we need for this day. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Give us this day the manna, the bread from heaven, God. We thank You, Father, for reigning in this place. Everything You have need of right now, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah, since we spoke about bread falling from heaven, if there's anybody that really needs provision right now, we pray for provision to come. Anybody else have uh, t uh, any words of knowledge? I want you to come up so I know you're here. Okay, thanks. So, Lord, we just release provision right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for provision for this house and provision for everyone that's, that's in partnership with this house, Lord, that you would just bless from here all the way to the nations, God, with the provision that's coming from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west. And we thank you, Lord, for favor with God and favor with man, that we're growing in it just like your son Jesus. We are growing in who you are, the favor of God and man. And we thank you, Lord, both are important and both are necessary, Lord. Teach us to navigate this world with excellence of heart excellent spirits lord that will show this world there's a god who reigns we thank you lord for provision right now release it in jesus name come on release it exact that exact amount lord we just pray lord it be released right now anyone that's lacking finances for the india trip we release it right now in jesus name come on just pray with them say yes lord release it right now in jesus name we thank you, Lord, for anyone that has bills, Lord, that aren't being met, Lord. We pray you will release it right now. Give them a strategy and a plan, Lord, to follow after you, God. Release it right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. You are our provider, God. Hallelujah. Okay, I was feeling heavy hearts. And um, if anybody's feeling lonely, um, like a loneliness or just like a a sadness like that just come over you um, just out of nowhere just come over you and um, you need encouragement so that's what I was hearing I th thank you father God I just pray right now for all the hearts um, I just pray shalom peace over them right now um, <laughs> love and just know that your father in heaven who loves you with an everlasting love and he's all you need right now in your time whatever the case may be just call out to him and he's there for you doesn't matter what the situation is it might seem bad right now but sorrows that comes at night but joy comes in the morning so we just call forth joy to come right now and um just encourage each one right now that you have a Father in heaven who loves you. It doesn't matter what kind of parent you had in, in, on this earth, whether you had them in the past or they're still here right now. You just, just, just cry out to your Abba in heaven who loves you so much, so much that he sent his one and only son to die for you, that he loves you that much, that... All you have to do is cry out, and he's there for you. In Jesus' name. 
and and um, Joseph is calling people over there that have uh, what was it, Joseph? Addictions. Thank you, Lord. Um, I have two things. Uh, one was uh, knees that need to be healed and reconstructed and uh, just, thank you, Lord. And uh, headaches, either from sinus. We got one here, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. So uh, all those with knees and headaches, just raise your hands right now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. God didn't bring this forth just to, just to may, uh, have you come up here. He, he brought it so that you could be healed. So we claim that healing right now in those knees in Jesus' name. Strengthening for the knees right now, Father God. All joints, all ligaments, all tendons coming together perfectly as they were made to be from the beginning. All strains going in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. By His stripes you are healed. By your stripes, we speak to those knees and say, Be healed! Be healed! Be healed in Jesus' name! Be healed in Jesus' name! That for the sinuses, I, I, all pressure go. All pressure go. All pressure go in Jesus' name. All pressure be released right now in Jesus' name. We, we, we speak in, in Jesus' name, in the power of His name right now. We speak with authority and we speak to those sinuses now. We say, be free! Be free! Be free! In Jesus' name. Thank You, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Lord. By His stripes, You are healed. Just believe. Just believe. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Father. Thank You. Whoa. Good, Sheree. Um, I was hearing that somebody has been having, um, may, it's been a while, maybe for like a month, like some stomach issues off and on. Um, I, maybe you've even attempted to go to the doctors and they can't figure out what it is. But it's been off and on and it seems like it's getting worse, but nobody can tell, tell you what's wrong. But God wants to heal you tonight. So um, for whoever that is, I'll just pray in agreement with what God wants to do. God, I just thank you right now that you are the ultimate physician. I thank you right now that you know every ounce of their being, God, that you have created them in your perfect image. And I just pray right now, God, that as we agree with heaven for their will, your perfect will for their life, God, that they will be healed, that they will receive the healing that you have for their life, God. They will receive the healing and they will walk in the healing and they will believe that you have touched them because you have. And I just thank you for it right now, God, in Jesus' name. I just really want to pray for everybody's immune systems to be strong in the name of Jesus. I just thank you, Lord, that you touch everybody's immune system to be strengthened now in the name of Jesus. I speak to the immune systems, Lord, and I thank you, Lord, for healing them, to strengthen them. I speak to the, um, even the stomach issues, Lord. I command the stomach issues, Lord, the, the, um, any kind of, uh, I hear that people are having some type of uh, indigestion problem, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, that you just heal all indigestion problems, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for healing them. Strengthen them, Lord. Strengthen them, Lord. We just thank you, Jesus. Um. I just thank the Lord now for love, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Just as we increase in awareness and an understanding of who He is and how much of Him is available to us, just that these things would just continue to fill us to overflowing. Uh, also, um, sort, of a, sort of a testimony and a word. Um, but I had a lady come into the thrift store today, and uh, she was just so excited um, because she said that uh, Glenda and Crystal had been working over in the store, I guess this was several weeks to a month ago, 
and Crystal had prayed for her, and I, I, I've met this woman before many times, and uh, she was always in a great amount of pain, lupus, fibromyalgia, cancer, and uh, she said Crystal prayed for her, and ever since then, she has not experienced anything. It's, it's gone. So now she's, uh, now she's uh, bringing, she brought a friend in because uh, her friend needed prayer. So she said, hey, let's, let's go down to the store. And uh, I, I just, and just at the same time, um, this lady had come in that had also met Glenda and Crystal. Um, and she was very spirit filled. And I just said, you know, why, why don't you guys pray, pray for this couple? And I just got them involved in it. And it was like God was really opening my eyes and let me know that, um, it's much bigger than, than this building, but it, but it really is a regional thing. It's, it's, you know, this might be an epicenter, but it's, it's creating waves. And it's literally, it's drawing the people here that we want. It's, it's, it's literally bringing them to us. They're attracted to it. It's like they smell it. But I, th I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that uh, you just continue to work, um, just that you continue to heal, that, that you continue to touch people. Uh, regardless of where they are in life, Lord, or, or what they've done or what they're doing, Jesus, that you, you love them regardless and your desire is to manifest yourself in their life, that, that you would uh, just give a, just, uh, a demonstration of how much you care for these people. I thank you so much that uh, you allow us to be a part of that process, Lord, and I just pray that you would continue to bring individuals to this church and to this store and to our community that are truly hungry for the things of you and that are walking in this stuff just that they could impart unto us what they have and just that we could impart unto them what we have, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. We got one more. We got one more right here. This is going to be our last one. And then, um, so, how many people would like to see God use you as a, like a, a healing machine? Yeah? It, it's really important that, that you can't be anything that you don't practice. You can't be anything you don't practice. And I think that as we're stepping in, as we're allowing this time really to step in to the supernatural, if you, if you sit back on the sidelines and be the water boy, it's hard to get good at catching passes if you're the water boy. It's hard to, it's hard to be, it's, you got to get in the game. That's right. Amen. So I was hearing this, I'm going to say it, pain, illness, ailments, injuries, all those things are something that the enemy can hold against you. That's something that he can keep on bothering you with. It gives him his power if you let it. So what I'm saying is this, you take that healing that God wants to give you because it's here. It's here now. You take it and you walk out in it. Yes. The healing is here. It's all in you. You have the power to believe, to step out in faith for that healing to come upon you. I can tell you just from my own self. Because I'm there. Every day I walk out in faith on healing. Because I have to. Because that's where my faith is. So if you have something wrong, the healing is here. You need to accept it. The healing is here. Amen. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for breaking the power of, of uh, trauma and breaking the power of accidents. And we just thank you, Lord, we plead the blood over those things, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for each person in this place, Lord, that they would find themselves in a place of walking with you, God. And we just thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Hug somebody before you get back to your seat. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jesus. Well, that was awesome. Thank you for everybody stepping out and just sharing. Thank you, Lord.
All right. Well, everybody that's in the back, like half of the church, just go ahead and take your take your this time to just move up to the front half. You're going to be moving on up. 